Hey guys, Linemaker here from Linemaker Studios, bringing you once again another episode of Crafting into YouTubers. And today I am a very, very privileged guest into, um, I think, hold on, I'm just going to sneak in. Obviously you guys know who it is, but uh, that person right now is just, uh, oh there we go. I'm just going to join, I'm just going to join him in bed real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm, out, I'm out of character. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, ah, hello, ah. Mr. Squid. You didn't look like that last night when I picked you up in the club. <laughs> oh, I thought God. we were going to be PG, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Ballistic Squid. What is your favorite? Whee! What is your favorite way uh, to be called? What do you like to be called? Uh, squid or Squiddy? Squid. All right, I'm yeah. going to go with Squid then. Call me right. whatever you want, mate. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. I'm really good. I'm very privileged and honored to be here. Um, thank you for. Did you enjoy your sleep uh, in my nice it comfy bed? It was all right, but some of your tentacles kind of <laughs> slipped across. Yeah, just went in the wrong places uh, <laughs> once in a while. Oh, but... Sorry, they have a tendency to do that. <laughs> They've got a mind of their own. It was okay. It was okay. Oh. Squid. You, there's a shower over here oh? if you want to. Um... That's just like that, to wash, wash yourself off. off. To wash off. <laughs> this is wash awesome. Off. Explain, explain us while while I take a little bath with you in here. Um, explain to us what is this world? Where are we? Uh, this is my Sky Island. <laughs> um, I've been doing this world for about fifty episodes, I think. It started off as a little dirt mud Sky Island thing. It was like a, a twelve by twelve area, just with one tree. And uh, yeah, I built it up to this magnificent place. So awesome. It's a, did you do it? Did, did you do it with yourself or with subscribers, uh, I, other fellow um, YouTubers? I did the first round about I don't know. It was about 15, 15 to twenty episodes by myself, um, and then when it got a little bit bigger, I started to introduce quite a lot of my close friends to the to the series. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a nice little. Um, not, I'd say fa I call it my family, my squids family. Okay. I don't really, I don't really call them my, my subs. I like to call them my family. Your family. It's all that's one big the, happy family. That's nice. That's a good way of calling your subs. Because there's yeah. there's this big dilemma behind people calling their subs fans, and you'll yeah. hear a lot of subs uh, YouTubers say, "Oh, I don't like to call them fans." I is it really a problem to call subscribers fans? Um, <laughs> I don't know really. It, it differs from person to person. Like a lot of YouTubers have like bros or homies or I don't know. It's just their own take on it. Uh, but I know a lot. Of, a lot of the fans don't like to be called fans. They get a bit offended. Really? I really know. Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't know. They, they, sometimes they're a bit touchy with it. Um, but I don't know. I suppose they are fans, really. Yeah, they're a fan yeah. of what you do. I mean, it depends what fans mean. They support you. When you basically. when you started this world, was that mm -hmm. when you started YouTube? Um, no, no, no. I actually started uh, YouTube doing tutorials. Okay. Um, about Minecraft. This, uh, yeah, about Minecraft. Basically. How long time uh, ago was this? This was last July. That's when I first started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I did basically like um, <laughs> redstone. <laughs> that might be hard to to believe because I'm not good at redstone. But I did um, I did like kitchen tutorials and okay. um, how to build furniture and fireplaces and how to build bathrooms and stuff. Uh, but this Sky Island was actually my first ever Let's Play, which I only started in March. So I'd never done like a Minecraft Let's Play um, at all. So this is my first one. Okay, excellent. And when you started YouTube, what what was the initial plan? What had you planned out? Was it just um, for <laughs> was it just for fun, or did you expect? No, I, I, no, I didn't. I didn't expect, but I wanted to get somewhere. I used to watch um, Syndicate. This is the kind of guy that inspired me. Okay. If that's going to be a later question, I've just spoiled that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that's okay. Um, Syndicate like inspired me, and I thought that if he's if he can do it and he's successful, then. Um, I wanted to have a go at it, so yeah, um, the tutorials were alright, but the problem with tutorials is that you get like um, views, you get quite a lot of views, but you don't get that many fans, Okay. Uh, they just come and look at your videos and then they go because that's basically all they want to see. Yeah, they just want like to see so, how it's done and then, yeah, okay. basically. Um, so I think the Let's Plays really developed my channel uh, in the sense of actually gaining followers and keeping them and actually creating like a... A nice little gathering. Okay, yeah. would, would you say that you have a successful recipe to how a Let's Play needs to be done? Yeah, I've got um, flour, water, <laughs> um, sugar, no, no, um, 
Uh, it, it, it seems to be working all right. I just have fun and I just get like really energetic every time I record. And like I really enjoy Minecraft anyway, so it just comes like really natural to just I don't know it, to talk for thirty minutes about rubbish and <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> so, what are some of the things that when you watch a let's play, if you do watch some of the let's plays out there, what makes you go face palm, nod your head? Well, as in, like, that's that's horrible. Like, it's, that's like, it's like, why are they doing that? What are some of the things that you think should not be done in Let's Plays? Um, I, I always think that if you're going to be putting on, like, a Let's Play, you should always be, like, the most, like, hyped-up, energetic, like, person you can be mm -hmm. and happy. Yeah. Um, because it reflects on your audience. You know, if you're ha having fun, then most of the time you, your fans are having fun and, you know, you, you enjoy it together. Um, so if you're going to do a Let's Play, don't do it going... Oh, uh, you're welcome to my island. And, uh, you know what I mean? You can't be, you know, because it, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't work. That's not a good recipe. Okay. When did you start realizing that your YouTube channel was going somewhere? When? What was that key moment? Um, the key moment was probably, um, I don't really know about twenty, probably about twenty. 20 episodes into this let's play probably how many subs did you have back then when when you like started having oh wait hold on <laughs> that's three second delay and i didn't see the. <laughs> um well to be honest um i first started this year with 1000 subscribers okay um how did you get then... to those 1000 though i think a lot of people you know it, it's 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 very uh, admirable that you've reached you know the subs you have which is if i'm not mistaken you're over 60,000 80,000 it's nearly 8 I yeah 80,000 and you you've grown in the last 2 3 months like crazy but yeah. what was it's like a what... snowball really it's just when you get like a snowball effect yeah, yeah definitely um i don't know you just have to enjoy it if you if you don't enjoy it then you can't really have fun with it if you know what I mean mm -hmm. okay. well obviously but um, no I really I got started obviously by tutorials and that got me the initial uh, 1000 subs but I'd be uploading after that and be thinking you know I could get 1000 views every single time but it doesn't work like that okay. uh, I think it's oh god oh no <laughs> um, it's about 10% I'd say of your actual sub base will come back and watch videos after that if you know what I mean okay um, so, so, so how, how did you make sure they came back? Was there a strategy or did you just post your videos and then wait? Um, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it's like, what are you hitting me for? <laughs> Answer the um, question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to make some bread. I'm hungry. Um, I've forgotten the question now. <laughs> what, what, I was like too busy. What was um, it? What was it that you know? Once you oh, once you uploaded your video, what was your strategy? Did you just let it be and let people enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, you just yeah. I, I guess you just can't you can't really upload that much. Like it's not good to upload, you know, okay. two to three videos a day when you've only got like one or two thousand subs because yeah, you, know, you put a lot of hard hard work into it and nobody really sees it. So ah. you, you've just got to carry on. You know, if you do like I don't know two or three videos a week and um, something like that and just build it up um, and take your time with it and enjoy but what it. would and you then... have to say then to one of one of my guests that I had chaotic creeper I'm sure you know of him Chris, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris yeah he's a good friend of yours I, I, I know um, yeah. he said that once your channel gets bigger and I hope I'm quoting this right. Is that? Ah, it, yeah, I think I heard this. It gets easier. You you, no, you basically I... get to relax more. But now you're telling me that you should be more relaxed in the beginning, and then maybe upload regularly after that. Oh yeah, so definitely. So where where do those two advice find a middle a middle ground? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't really agree with that. Oh. I guess it all depends on your kind of sub base and how and what content you produce. Like me, I do Let's Plays. Yeah. So people want to see it, you know, regularly. day in, day out. Yeah. Okay. Go on, I know you want to say something. No, I said yeah. regularly. I was just confirming confirming what you're saying. All right, okay, yeah. But the thing with Chris, Chris's channel is that he does, um, like, he does map reviews. and mm -hmm. um, So his content... Uh, depends on people bringing new maps out and it's not always a day in and day out thing so I guess you can relax a bit more with a channel like that but 
my channel just basically depends on let's plays and people want to see it day in day out and I, you know that's that's what I think you should do and you should put more effort in as well you should like once you get more subs you can you should make your videos you know better editing you should you should make it longer episodes you should you know try and improve it's always about improving your videos think about what's the bad points what the people don't like and then improve you should always try and make your channel better I think so okay do you have to deal with hate do you get hate um <laughs> not not really I started off um, with obviously the name Squid, mm -hmm. and I got a load of um, Skyder's Minecraft fanboys from the start. It was really hard. I used to get a load of hate, oh. like, oh, you know, you you know, I'm from the Sky Army. I hate you because you know, you, you know, your name's Squid, and I used to get that pretty much quite a few times a day, just basically from his fanboys. Um, How would you deal with that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You just ignore them. Like it got to a point. Where I was literally thinking about changing my channel name round about when I was about five five k subscribers, I put it on Twitter and everything. I was like, "Look, I can't really be bothered with this anymore." Because people wasn't judging me on like my commentary or my style. They wasn't even like focusing on that. It was just literally my name. As soon as they saw my name, they didn't even like watch my commentary. Uh, watch my commentary. They didn't even watch my videos or anything. That's crazy. They just basically just judged me on my name straight away, and it was like you know that kind of sucks because they're not even giving me a chance. Um, but as I've gained like more followers and stuff, um, I've had a lot of his fans say, you know, like, oh, um, I'm subscribed to Skyder's Minecraft, but I also love you. So it's like, oh, you know, okay. it makes me really happy. So, so do, do we have to come to the sad assumption that the more subs you get, the more respect you get? Um, pretty much. But is say. is that right though? Is it is it? You know, um, it's not right, but it's the, way, it's the way of YouTube, isn't it? You've got to kind of like prove yourself as a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Like you can start off and make a few videos, and you don't. No one really knows. It's all about like forming a bond with your subscribers, and you know, being like they need to love you as a person, like your personality and stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's, you spend it like if they're watching you every day. You do get kind of a connection with them, okay. and they get a connection with you because it's like a seen person every single day. It's like. So, yeah, it's like they become part of part of your life. You, yeah, yeah, you have a lot of young subscribers as well. How, what, what would you say is your average average age range? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. Um, you've, never, you've never checked I, the analytics, just by curiosity. Um, and... It varies, but it is roundabout. I don't know. Um, ten. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's probably average about 14, 15 years old or something like okay, that. Okay. And are you careful with the content that you post, like with the things you say, or are you um, are you very open about it? I well, as, when I first started off, I used to swear in my videos, mm -hmm. and um, after I met Stampy, he had this policy of like he doesn't swear at all, and he just basically told me like you know cut the swearing out it doesn't add anything to your videos and you see i used to watch yogs cast <laughs> yeah. and, and they swear quite a bit and i find it quite humorous okay. to, to, to swear and stuff but i've kind of made my channel that's strictly no swearing um because i yeah i don't really think it adds anything to your commentary i mean sometimes it's funny but in minecraft i, don't I think you think attract a different a different crowd when when you implement swearing i think that now you have yeah, a very yeah. committed very innocent and very dedicated uh, group of squids um, <laughs> there's a lot more funnier words anyway than swear words that aren't swearing yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like bugger and stuff <laughs> what are some of the great moments you, you've had been able to experience in the last year what are, what are some of the ups that you've had um <laughs> actually like leaving my job to do YouTube uh, is just good, a crazy good transition achievement. it's just uh, I just, that's just like one of the best things that's ever happened to me. So you've yeah. managed to stop your job in real life and make YouTube your full-time job. Yep. Okay, so at one, at what point was that financially possible? Uh, I don't really know. I think about a couple of months ago, I used to be with TGN. Uh, me and you have had quite a discussion about partnership, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I used to be with TGN and they didn't used to like give you the revenue that you deserve to be honest they take a big cut and it's through and through with companies you know throughout youtube and um as soon as i left them i started to see that i could actually financially do it you know so okay um it's a lot, a lot of help from my parents as well because i do live at home i am lucky enough to actually uh, live at home and um you know have them to support me while i'm 
doing this. Okay, so. do, do you do anything else? Like, um, because I, I'm sure a lot of people will beg to question, like, okay, you live with your parents, you do YouTube, is there anything else? As in like jobs? Maybe, not necessarily jobs, but studies, maybe? Studies? No, I don't do any other studies. I, okay. I really want to because, um, I don't know, it's always good to learn and keep your brain active and learn new stuff. And mm-hmm. Maybe something yeah, to I, do with media, maybe something... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind doing something like that in the future, for sure, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> this, it's never too late to educate. <laughs> I always go back to it. Oh, God. Uh, definitely, definitely. Okay, so now that you know, you, you, you've pretty much told us a little bit about your past, a little mm-hmm. bit about your present, what is it that you envision for the future? Are there things that you think, all right, this is going to last, or do you sometimes fear that it could end from one day to another? Um, <laughs> yeah. You never really know with YouTube, so you just gotta take it as it comes, really. So you just gotta enjoy it while it lasts, and mm-hmm. you know, just just keep having fun with it. Just enjoy the moment, I suppose. Would you say you maybe are you planning on branching out? Is that something you do, or do you do purely Minecraft? Uh, well, I also, I also do Skyrim. Okay, um, yeah. Which was a big kind of I don't really know. It was a big leap. Leap of that faith. I, yeah. I didn't know it was going to work or not, to be honest, because it is quite gory. Um, but I've managed to make it work just as well as Minecraft, to be honest. Like people enjoy it like just as much as Minecraft on my channel, and it gives me confidence to then after that do other Let's Plays and people watch them. So um, yeah, obviously Minecraft's going to always going to be popular, but I'm glad that I know now that I can always branch out to different games that that come out and and hopefully they'll be just as, as successful. So okay. Are you going to be hopping on to Xbox One? I definitely am, yeah. yeah. yeah and you're going to continue that. doing Minecraft on Xbox 360? How, how are you going to manage that? Are you going to do both? Are you going to do... I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing it on Xbox 360 until I'm confident with the... I can do the transition smoothly enough to, you know, you know, to keep the audience and mm-hmm. everything's going to be the same. Because I don't know what it's going to be like on the Xbox One. Yeah, oh. there, there are a lot of what-ifs here. Like, it's, it's hard to... Ah, oh, creeper! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's after you, so I'm pretty safe. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so it de- depends how the transition is going to look. Uh, I don't really know. I just can't wait for texture packs. Oh, well done, mate. You handled that really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like punched him out of the way. Um, like, get out. <laughs> oh, there's a skeleton over there as well. Right, we're going to have to move off. We have to go to sleep. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Oh, sh- <laughs> 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 this is the problem. We've living on a sky island. <coughs> oh god! Right, we'll go back. Up Excellent. Here. Um, yeah, I just can't wait for the texture packs and stuff on the Xbox because it is literally like a whole new game. Like I've played PC before, mm-hmm. and it literally is like a brand new game. It's just unbelievable. Um, and they're gonna bring out packs, so that obviously means they're gonna bring out quite a few. So yeah, it looks like we'll be playing. Xbox 360 Minecraft for a little while after. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to last out. very long too. I'm I'm pretty sure that there's not too much to worry. I think a lot of people worry about you know if they're going to see content, if maps. You know, there's this whole thing going on about like if maps are going to be compatible with Xbox One, mm, 360. Yeah. Uh, maps are going to be bigger on Xbox One. Are they going to be bigger on Xbox 360? How's that going to work? You know, there's there's a lot of questions, and obviously we could speculate for hours. Um, yeah. But no matter what happens, it's still going to be Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. So, do, do you think yeah. that Xbox One will manage to uh, level with the PC version, or are we still going to be far behind? Um, I don't. Well, I don't really agree that we're behind. I think it, it, we're, we're different. I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay. Um, like it's a whole different experience from playing PC to playing Xbox. I think. Like I play both, and I really enjoy just sitting back with the analog stick instead of. The mouse and keyboard. It is more um, comfortable, yeah. But obviously, you can you can do more on PC. That doesn't always mean it's better. You just you, like I played the mod packs, and sometimes it's just really overwhelming. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I hope they do bring out mod packs for the Xbox. I hope they do catch up a bit with like the the new bosses, like the Wither and stuff like that. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. I don't know. I've noticed that recently um, you've been playing with more and more other YouTubers. Is is that a recent thing, or have you always been very involved with smaller channels? 
Um, like who? <laughs> like I, I, I know there was Buildaholic once. I, oh, um, okay, yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah, like well, little let's play Hunger Games, uh, like you guys, and like, and I know you do it a lot with Stampy. I, the thing, the thing I'm trying to do as well, if you know, if you let me do that, is that I know that you and Stampy do a lot of things together. Um, yeah. But I want to try and get you out of that bubble, of the Stampy Squid bubble. <laughs> because we could get into the things that you guys do together, like yeah. you worked, you have a channel together, you're thinking about, you know, I don't know if I can say this, but you're thinking about doing some interesting things together. Um, so <laughs> that, sound, that sounded wrong. <laughs> that sounded, yeah. That sounded very uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> I didn't agree to any of this. <laughs> uh. But coming back to you, let's, before we go on, let's start with. When you were a small channel, did you get help from bigger channels? Was it no. was it something that a year ago was possible? Did it even exist? No, I I mean a year ago I used to contact um, people that had like ten thousand subs, mm -hmm. and they just didn't want to help me. And it's kind of like it's funny because I don't want to mention any names, but you don't. Uh, no, I don't want to mention any names, but there's a few channels out there that I uh, that I reached out to when I was at like one k, and there was at like three or four or five k and just said look mate um do you think we should do any dual commentaries together you know it's a good way to um make better videos yeah. and just have like a good time and they completely ignored me and since i've grown past them and i mean a lot past them they've contacted me uh. and it's like you know it just doesn't really work that way do you know what i mean so. <laughs> because i know we take notes right <laughs> yeah we take mental so. notes we take mental notes and i think everybody experiences that as well and I, I i think at the same time you know now that you're in their position like you're much bigger let's say but you're you're, you're in that position where a lot of people do ask you for for you know features and help and and collabs how yeah. how do you re like how do you react to that how do you manage that the way that you did not like the way they managed it with you if that makes any uh. sense <laughs> It's just the way the people go about reaching out to people. Mm -hmm. um, people can be aggressive and nasty, and then but some people like like the best way to get in contact with like bigger YouTubers and to actually do some collaborations is like stuff like sharing maps. Okay. A lot of people do that nowadays, or just basically saying, "Oh, look, I've built this for you. Like we've had a couple of theme packs built for us, and or Hunger Games. If you want to build a Hunger Games map, and we play that, and we come and chat to you and stuff like that." Um, but it's not. It's not really. It's never really about how the, the comparing the different subs. Mm -hmm. It's all about if you can make a good and funny video together. Do you know what I mean? I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I know you're talking about like build the holic and finball and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Earlier, but that's that's basically just like a, a group of friends, to be honest. Okay. So is like, is um, there is there a group being created in the community that is becoming hard to be part of? Um, that used to be much easier to be in, but now it's kind of becoming like isolated, and there's this thick wall around it. W would you agree with that? Yeah, I kind of would, but I think it's always going to happen in every sort of place. Mm -hmm. Because I um, think one of the things that the community had a, had going for them is that um, you know it was easy to get in contact with 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 other YouTubers. Um, I came in five months ago, and I found it very easy to get into contact with YouTubers. And I constantly hear people saying, "Bigger YouTubers don't want to collab. Bigger YouTubers don't want to help. Bigger YouTubers, want, you know." Yeah, but as I say, it's all about the way you go about something. Mm -hmm. Like you did it and said, "Look, I'm I'm just a guy who wants to interview and learn more about the community." And you're a really nice, friendly guy, and you got Aww. you know a good layout and system, and it works. You know, people enjoy it. People enjoy yeah. sharing to like a, an interviewer and someone that's you know interested. And it's just like that's the good way of going about it. You went about it the best way, you know, possible. Yeah, and it worked. You know, it's... but would would my would my way be relevant to people that don't do interviews? Like you know, my 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 approach because. A lot of I, I get a lot of criticism, you know, and I, I just deal with it. I, I filter it, but I get a lot of criticism saying that the only reason my channel is growing is because I get bigger YouTubers on it, and you know that is the matter of the fact. But you know, what are the things that when people ask me, how do you get those YouTubers on? I, I don't really know how to answer that question because I'm like, it's for what I'm doing, it works. But I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know how I would approach YouTubers if it was. I don't if, know. If you didn't have the interview. Really. Yeah, I mean, I did approach... Q Dangler was one of the first people I approached, and it was with map making. 
Um, yeah. And, you know, we, we made some sort of deal where I exclusively make maps for him and he's the first one allowed to upload them. So, and, and that also has brought a lot of controversies. I feel like everything I do is just <laughs> kind of like controversial, but um, it seems to be working. And, I, you know, that's, that's what it always comes down to when people give advice. I always feel like it's, it's very relative, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but to people who are wanting to get in contact with other YouTubers, it's all about what's the purpose behind it. Mm -hmm. And if you just want like a chat or anything like that, then it's obviously hard to do that because it's kind of like a as i say it's a full-time job to do this and get all your videos recorded and prepared yeah. and just having chats with random people every day is you know takes a lot of time in itself um so i don't know it's all about if you want to if you want to meet you know like bigger people and stuff like that you you've got to have like a purpose behind it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and be you know? clear about things i think my advice would be just be honest just be clear about it yeah. Don't don't be sneaky. Don't be you know. <laughs> don't don't be like a little snake. You know, running around in circles, beating around the bush. And yeah. one of the things as well that I can't stand, and I don't know how you feel about that, is for example, let's say, let's say I would have approached you through someone else. Mm hmm. Okay. That's something I get a lot. People try to get to me to get to you guys, but what they don't realize is that this is this is what it comes down to. It's the interview. You know, yeah. we, we don't play together, we don't interact, we sometimes exchange respectful messages about advice and tips and stuff, but it doesn't, it, it never comes to the point where, you know, we, we're a daily to day friend and, and that is totally, and I, I don't expect anything more, but people think that I'm friends with all the people that come on Crafting Into YouTubers and that's how I get them on. And they try to get to me to get to you guys. You know? <laughs> I'll bribe you. I'll give you some money if you let me speak to him. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've had people ask me like, "Can you ask him if I can do GFX for him?" And I'm like, "Look, I don't even talk to the guy." You know, it's yeah. just like. So, how do you feel about people, you know, other YouTubers coming to you saying, "Hey, I know this guy. Would you would you have a chat with him?" Um, no. You don't like that, do you? <laughs> but that's good. No, I don't it's, know. it's good. It's no, good to know, though. No, I don't, I don't know. It's a it's a diff it's quite a difficult subject, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, but as I said, there's loads of different ways to get in contact with people and meet bigger people. So I think we just leave it as that. You know, there's lots of different ways mm -hmm. rather than you know like being an annoying and <laughs> causing Pushy. people. Yeah. What it, well, it is isn't it? You know, you've got your your privacy, haven't you? So yeah. Like, if you want to get in contact with people, like. I don't know. I mean, we're all we're all just people at the end of the day, you know. We're not some big. Everyone thinks that when you get to like a certain size channel, you're just some big, massive, you know, person that's so important and stuff like that. And it's not like that. It's just that it's just a sub count, you know. We just yeah. we're still the same person at the end of the day. Because um, what I've realized as well is the moment we turn off our computer, we kind of have this reality check that it's only online, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, once you um, walk in the streets, it's not like people recognize you. I mean, after a certain point, I'm sure it happens if you go to conventions and you go to specific places where people go to meet you there, but... Yeah, which should be pretty funny, because I'm going to one in about six days. But... Nice, nice, good, excellent. Uh, will will, will we be seeing footage of that? Will you be doing vlogs? Yeah, I'm going to so... take a camera, excellent. I'm going to film it all, and uh, I'll see what happens. Um, it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody actually contacted me on Twitter... Uh, one of the parents and says um, you know what what things are you going to this year are you going to be doing any meet and greets or talks and I'm like I'm just going to go like any other person and <laughs> walk around <laughs> do you know what I mean like it's weird and just see what happens I, I think yeah. I, are you prepared for the can you prepare no, for that I, I, type of thing I, have I, you I ever done that clue. never in my life okay so. so that's pretty exciting like I'm going to a convention in a couple of months just to fanboy over someone else who I really enjoy watching. <laughs> okay. And it's just like it's gonna be really weird because people are gonna be doing it to me, and it's just like I'm only me, you know what I mean? I'm only another person. Yeah, it's it's kind of that videos. awkward feeling where you just feel like, are they serious? Are they mucking about? You know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, great, excellent. Well, that's nice to hear. Squid, yeah, is is there anything that you would like to say to the people watching? Anything you would like to add? Uh, on top of everything we've talked about or anything you'd like to ask me. Uh, this is your moment to shine. How do you keep your fur so nice and clean? How do I get my fur so nice? <laughs> <laughs> I just broom it every day. You, know, hair, you broom it? Yeah, hair, hair, hair blow, how do you call it? Like I just, blow dryer. Blow dryer, there we go. Hair dryer. Yeah. 
a, a fur dryer. A fur dryer. <laughs> 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 oh god excellent um, any questions um, hmm. or anything you would like to add anything that you feel like you because I think a lot of your fans or squid subscribers uh, <laughs> whoop, whoop. yeah are, are gonna be are gonna be tuning in is there anything hi mom <laughs> I'm on YouTube <laughs> nah I don't know um, I don't know I'd just like to say thank you for all the support you're giving me for this amazing year and um, I appreciate it and thanks for having me on. No, thank you. The, the, the honor is mine. Thank you so much. Well, Squid, thank you so much for taking part of this. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure uh, to uh, give it a pause up. Yeah, I'm kind of losing my outro here, but uh, make sure to become a cup subscriber if you want to keep in touch, you know, with what I do and the things that, you know, the coming keep guests. Keep in touch with his, uh, his fur grooming. Exactly. I'll, I'll where, try to post some that? tutorials on how to keep your, uh, your mane <laughs> quite nice. That could be your next vlog. <laughs> Fair maintenance, part one. <laughs> if you guys don't maker. know who Squid is, but I'm, you know, I say this every time, but I, it's just that I assume that it's his subscribers that come and watch. But if you do not know who Squid is, the, in the description down below will be a link to his channel and to his Twitter. And uh, so go check him out. He has a lot of fun Let's Plays. Um, you know, you guys have seen it. I don't need to say anymore. So thank you guys for tuning in. Take it easy. Peace. Thank you for watching! You've had the emotions of joy to watch the Lime Mega Studios. Make sure to come back. Bye!